Jeremy S. Cook here, and today I'll be going over how I made a 3D printed dust collector for my CNC router. Not only does it work really well, but it also looks like a spaceship. It attaches to the spindle via a magnetic system that you can just plop on and then you can just rotate it left to right, kind of like a kind of like clocking the whole thing. When you're ready to put it in position, then you use some little clamps on the side to make sure it holds it down. Now this whole video is kind of a supposed to be an odyssey about how I went from a very poor dust collector to a very good one. So here's my first step in this whole thing. You can fast forward to a later, da later date if you wanted to skip this part. But f first thing I tried was actually putting a little shop vac nozzle on a piece of polycarbonate. That didn't work so well, so I made a coaxial fixture shown here. This worked a bit better, but I believe the exhaust from the, the router actually interfered with the suction. So that was okay. Third thing was this. This dust collector from Romax, the company actually made my router. But it's kind of big and kind of kind of interferes with my fixture a little bit. Results are pretty good though. After this, it was time to make something even more, even worse than the first one I came up with actually. The second one got destroyed for through some circumstances I won't go into. But this one is just a, a two by four with a quarter 20 carriage bolt drilled in the side. I'll put that in there and then with a with a wing nut, I could I could clamp it down and make sure everything fit out correctly. I also put a hole in the side too, so that I could get at my bit changer easily, and a little bit of duct tape made up for some fairly poor cuts. So it did fit in there all right after some some work, and I could change things out as I needed, tighten it down with a wing nut, and it looked like it would work. Well, I mean, it worked holding it down, but as far as actually collecting dust, it was really pretty, pretty poor. I mean, it, you can see all the dust adding up all over there. It did give me some nice circles that I could play with, so that was, that was nice. After all that experience, I designed one in Fusion 360 that would really live up to what I needed. And, and having a 3D printer, I could pretty much make it like I wanted. It's got a channel down the middle and it's got a, a slot for the dust collector on one side and then a slot for the router on the other. Now the air is, is channeled toward the back and then on the on the sides you can see it's got kind of a loop for the exhaust to come out and be channeled toward the sides away from the suction. In the middle I actually put some some grooves so that I could print it in two parts because my, my 3D printer is actually quite small. As good as it is, it's got to come a small build plate. Turned in at two separate parts, deleting one side and one one piece and deleting on the other and the other. Probably a better way to do this. But. And here's the view of the print courtesy of Octolapse and the custom fixture that I made shown here. As usual, I'm removing the print with my 3D printing knife and had quite a bit of support material to remove, so it took a little bit of work to get off. And a little test with a piece of duct tape meant it was time to print the other side. Nice to see it come together and it all fit, fit pretty much perfectly. Use some epoxy on either side to attach it together. Didn't know how well this would grip, but it did work pretty well. And I actually applied it liberally across the bottom and the top just to clean up any parts that might, might tend to delaminate at some point. Nice to have the extra layer on there if, if it's needed. I then used zip ties on the whole thing to hold it down and then, then printed the part that would actually take the magnets. Now this part could have been designed into the fixture itself, but I decided if I needed to replace it or if there's some wear or needed changes, I could just replace it with just a little thing. And so this is all screwed together with a 1024 bolt. There I am tapping the holes for a 1024 screw as mentioned earlier. And the other side I cleaned out with a drill bit just to kind of clean out the, the holes a little bit. And there it is, it attached together nicely. As it just so happens, the space on the CNC router where this magnetic part was going to fit was, was quite tight and it had some button head screws that stuck up just a little bit. I decided to put a counter bore on that and, and make them and recess them so they wouldn't get in the way anymore. That worked out pretty well just to give me that extra little bit of clearance and there's the top part printing out. The sides of it really tapped, kind of like the, 
the 2x4 design I had earlier, except, except it works quite a bit better. And all these magnets are lined up with the correct, you know, north-south orientation, so I can just clock it one way or another. So there it is, that's pretty much the design there. Goes on and off, and then when I need to, I, I can attach it down with these clamps. And there's my hose for my rigid back. And it's producing quite a bit of suction. So let's go ahead and change out that bed and then test it out. Actually test it out on the old the old one I just I showed earlier. So but I guess that's how it goes. If if you if you don't perform as a dust collector you get eaten up by the new one or something. So yeah, looks like it's working pretty well. I will advise when using this, you've got a ton of air going over a hot surface, you know, sucking that up. So just just pay attention to your router, make sure it doesn't catch on fire. That's a real risk, so just a little PSI there. Another thing you need to worry about is, is make sure that your pieces of, of wood actually have a little bit of material left so they don't get sucked up like this. So I was... The good thing here, it didn't actually break my bits or anything, but that did pretty much ruin the cut. With everything tuned up, you can see here, you, well, actually you can't see any dust really. It, it's it's collecting it really well. So, it, so, so well in fact that it's very hard to see. You can see it a little bit at the end of this cut, but other than that, it's really, really doing a great job. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up consider subscribing, or even just leave me a comment. Thanks a lot for watching. This is Jeremy S. Cook, signing off.